In this video, we're going to start the program, look at the user interface, and open a new design. We are going to jump right in, but before we get started, I want to show you one feature that I'm going to put on my videos, and that is the little keyboard that's going to be right down here in the lower corner. And the reason I'm putting this in, and it's going to be an overlay over the top of my screen capture, so that you can see what buttons I am pushing on my mouse, and when I'm scrolling up or down on my mouse, and if I'm pushing, you know, my control key or my alt key or the space bar or shift, that's all going to be shown down over the top of the screen captures so that you can follow along and hopefully you won't get lost. So let me get that turned on. There it is. Next, we are going to fire up Design Spark. So let me get that started. So Design Spark has a little splash screen that comes up. It takes a minute to get everything loaded up and running. So we'll give that just a second. All right, once it is up and running, we see the user interface. I want to point out some stuff on the user interface, so let me do a little screen capture of it really quick here. So there is a lot of information going on on the user interface. I want to start off by just looking at this upper corner up here, and we're going to be looking at the, um, the tabs at the very top. And then there's also another part that we're going to be spending a lot of time with is this ribbon up at the top. That's going to be where most all of the buttons are. Then down at the bottom, there's these little tabs, which you can have individual files open, and it'll show you each one of those as you're running. And then there's a lot of information down along the bottom here that gives you the status of what is going on. And there's also another set of buttons over here that you can click on, but we're going to back up just a little bit and we're going to basically just be focused on the upper menu and the ribbon. So this is the user interface that starts up every time that you start Design Spark Mechanical from scratch. And it always starts up with this start page. This was that marketing aspect I was telling you about. And so it's a very small price to pay to have to come down here and click the little X to shut that tab down. Um, and we have one important task before we start anything else. Before we start, we need to make one important decision, and that is to determine what units we are going to use. So it's a real simple task. The first thing that we need to do is go up to File, come down to Design Spark Options, and then it should open up a window and we click on the little one that says units. Now, this is where we go to set whether we want it to be in metric or imperial. I'm in the United States and I do most everything I do in imperial. One difference for that is if I am doing 3D printing, all of the software that I use after uses millimeters. So if I know I'm going to be printing a part and I'm designing it just to be 3D printed, a lot of times I will come in here and I will change this to metric before I start a new design and that will set it up so that I don't have to do any kind of conversions um, when I am making a part just for 3D printing. We're going to be doing regular components so I'm going to set this to imperial which is you know inches and hit OK, and then we're ready to get started. All we have to do to start a new design is come up and click on File, hover over the New, pull across, and click on New Design. And that basically opens up a new window. It makes a new tab down here that says Design. If you've saved ones, it might say something different. Mine says Design 2 at the moment. That is all there is to starting a new design in Design Spark Mechanical. This channel is all about sharing and fabrication. So you can check out the playlists on my channel where all of the videos are organized into groups of like content. 
And then, of course, if you like the video, subscribe, like it, and don't forget to ring the bell so that you're up to date with all of the new videos as I post them.